So, if you guys want a preview into uh, the next bike that I'm going to purchase, this is it right here. Let's get on topic. Yeah, right? It's sexy, ain't it? <laughs> Damn. Let's get on topic, guys. Hey, everybody. It's Thomas. Get out of Arizona. And you are watching another fabulous episode of Bicycle Showcase here on Toolbox Topic. Once again, I'm joined by my co-host, Brandon Van Leuven. Brandon, how the hell are you, my friend? Groovy. You feeling better? I'm a little better. You're a little under the weather for, yeah. <laughs> for several days there. We were worried about him. Nothing too serious. Nothing too serious. Nothing <laughs> bourbon wouldn't cure. No, no. Bourbon is actually the cure. Yeah. Ooh. Burn that shit out of your Get lungs. Throat. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice. All right, guys. Well, we are looking at uh, a 2022 Madone. No, Domani. Sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Dumane. Now, this has the 105 group, yeah. and I wouldn't necessarily call this an entry level. I wouldn't either. Um, Dumane, but um, as far as price point, it's reasonable. It, that's a good way to put it. It's reasonable. reasonable. So, it's not out of control. It's, she ain't cheap either. No, she ain't cheap either, <laughs> just like us. And uh, as far as that goes, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and the bell notification <laughs> icon. So that way, whenever we post another video, um, you'll be one of the first to know. And by hitting the like and the subscribe, you help out this video and you help out the channel immensely. Yeah, because we're not cheap. And if you expect me to buy a freaking Dumane, you got you to support the channel here, guys. Um, so yeah, so it's reasonably priced. It's not cheap. Um, but boy, even, I mean, I've always enjoyed the 105 group. I think that's the bread and butter group for Shimano. The sucker's nice. Yeah. 105 She's, is fantastic. It's all yeah. anybody really needs, to be yeah. honest with you. It is. I'm, a, I'm definitely spoiled with some of this stuff, but 105 is really where I should live. Um, but hey, we <laughs> like to show our dicks now and then with <laughs> the Dura. So. Exactly. <laughs> or but, the uh, Eagle, what yeah. is it, X01 or whatever? Yeah, yeah so um, this is the uh, Domani SL5 carbon. Okay. Carbon. 500 series carbon. Okay. Uh, she goes just a little over 3,000 bucks, 3,200 bucks. Um, and like you were saying, it's not cheap, but it's not crazy either. It's not no. a $10,000 Madonna, or you can even get these things up to 10,000 bucks right. if you want. Um, what I love about this bike, again, full 105 drivetrain that they give you on here, but it does so many things and has so many cool technological features on it that no other bike has but the Domani. Right. And let's start with some of the, uh, the fancier, well, actually, let's start with some of the more basic things. More basic things. All right. It is a tubeless ready setup. Your wheels are tubeless. You have the uh, 105 disc brakes on there, so stopping is impeccable. Did you hear that? I almost said your name. Tubeless. <laughs> Take a hint. All right, continue. I'm These sorry. are the R3s. Um, the R3s are a little fragile for Arizona, I feel like. It's an awesome tire. I love that they put a tan wall on right. this matte black bike. Um, I am so sick and tired of matte black bikes, but this one is super cool. Yeah. I like this it's a lot. It's just enough to make it pop. Yep, with the, with the tan sidewalls, it looks really nice. They give you just a little bit, just kind of this fade, this ghost, mm -hmm. this ghost logo on here that really makes the bike look classic. I really like that a lot. Um, again, we talked about the frame being 500 series carbon fiber. So it's our entry level carbon fiber or mid-range carbon fiber, but um, um, very practical, still very light, very durable. Um, but when we talk about the frame, we have a couple of very distinctive features that only the Domani has. Got and those ISO are couplers. the ISO speed decouplers, yep. front and back when we go to the SL5. And <clears throat> what I've done here in the back is I've popped the inspection plate off and you can actually see the bearing that this seat tube is pivoting on. Right. So if I were to, a much cleaner look is when this cover plate is on right. and then you can't see that bearing on there. But I just wanted for, for visual um, sake. Not that I can really what? zoom in that close, but I right. mean, I'll, I'll try to zoom in as, as much as possible. Just so viewers can see, it's not yeah. just a passive design. It's an active, it's yeah. an active design. Yep. So our C-tube is completely independent from the frame at this point. Right. That bearing goes through here, and we're using frame materials to get that deflection in there, give you a very comfortable ride. In the front, I have a very cool piece of technology in there. Uh, hopefully you can zoom on this a little bit, but actually this guy is what's in our head tube. And we have a pivoting section in here right. that's going to give us our deflection. 
it's just enough. It's a beautiful dude, remember amount. Remember when it's we used so to get balanced. beat to piss on yeah. road bikes, dude? Yep. They are so exactly. So they have come so far in the last two decades. It's just ridiculous. Yep. And I love that it's just it's just enough. It's not this real it's not a pogo -y system at all. Right. It just gives you enough to, to balance out the ISO speed in the back and make the bike feel beautifully balanced and, and very nicely um, ride very nicely. Right. No, and it's in for I wouldn't necessarily say gravel because we got the checkpoint for that. Um, but we've seen people do some ridiculously crazy things on the Dumani, um, which we'll get to tire size and rim and everything like that. But for your traditional road rider, um, where you have uneven asphalt, you know, just uh, varying degrees of flat surface, it really makes the ride more comfortable. It is. It that is. 40th, 50th, 60th mile, since the bike has now absorbed all that low frequency and that dampening, you as a rider don't feel completely beat up. Right. Yeah. And in design of the geometry as well, the Domani is notorious for being a more stable bike. Right. It's still a high, very high performance bike, but it's going to, what we have that, what we have is what we call an endurance geometry as opposed to the Yamanda and the Madone. So what they do here is they give you a a little bit shorter top tube, right? A little bit taller head tube. That's bringing the riders up and back just a little more, keep them, keep them more comfortable. Also, we have a more raked out front, so our wheelbase is longer. That's going to give us a more stable ride. More stability. I think this is the checkpoint, and the uh, Madone got together, and this was their spawn. Exactly. Because I've test ridden one of these, and that's that's really what it feels like. It's it's super responsive, but it's has the comfort level of the checkpoint as far as that, that section. And when you're geometry. talking about the checkpoint, this is where the checkpoint, this is checkpoint's I, yeah. daddy. This mm -hmm. is his daddy. This is where the checkpoint derived from. Who's your because daddy? Because they had Domani's and they were beating the snot out of them right. on, the, on the gravel roads, on rough roads, and they're finding out that, hey, this is a tough frame. This is a great chassis and it's fantastic for, for more than just road riding. So you know, putting, you know, a bit more points for accessories and bags and a little bit different geometry, that's where the checkpoint right. comes into. But it came from this bike. No, and it's truly beautiful. Now, you know me, and I'm maybe unique in the road rider category, but for tire size, 38 mil, 35 mil, you can actually put a pretty, you know, beefy tire on here if your area has rougher surface and you want just a little bit more protection or volume Absolutely. of air and everything like Bigger that. Bigger tire, more aggressive tire. Right, what's the largest that the Dumani will hold? I think it's a 38, Okay. I'm pretty sure. Now remember, don't quote him on that, yes, but if you're please. a bike nerd, you can comment <laughs> you down can below comment. respectfully um, to correct Brandon if he is if he's wrong on that. So, okay, and then of course, you know, we've got the little compartment here for the storage and everything. Um, yeah. You've got some good, you know, uh, all the cables routed internally, so it's Super very clean. smooth and, and sexy and everything. Let's talk about some of and here's the negatives. Time. She's not. She's the not lightest. the lightest thing. She's is the, the first thing that people thing are going to bring up, so, right? Um, oh yeah, you got the little toolkit. Yeah, there's a little like toolkit that. that you can put in there, and this is the the, the box that you I can. I bet you you can in. fashion a custom custom flask to get up in there to hold just a little bit of. Oh yeah. At the end of the ride. Oh yeah. I can nice. be creative. Yeah. Anybody <laughs> can. So. You can um, fit a whole bag of wine in there. <laughs> you have patience. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, the things we can do these days with our bikes. Um, but, uh, yeah, just around 20 pounds for this one. Okay. Um, and it, But, I mean, if you wanted to, these aren't carbon rims. They're not. You, could, you can go carbon rims. There's down. some things you could change out to, you know, drop a few more uh, kilos off the bike itself. Yes, but absolutely. But we go back to the fact that it does wouldn't so call much. it entry level, <laughs> but for what it does at its price point, this is a tremendous value, guys. Like, like seriously. If, I would agree. If you were a roadie, a roadie, and you were looking to upgrade, you can get in at this, and then as things fail, you know, down the line, upgrade your accessories at that point, yes. and you're still always going to have a, a tremendous frame foundation to build on, yes. as far as that goes. And now, is the Domani series part of the uh, Trek One? Can you do the custom paint on some of these? Typically, yes. Okay. Project One, I'm sorry to say, is very limited right now okay it's just it's just manufacturing and, okay. and supply we just okay. uh, uh yes the domani does have a level of, of project one at this time a lot right. of these frames have been just discontinued momentarily right just because of production okay um, good to know 
What's the availability? Now, this bike itself is has been purchased. I'm not going to lie. This I saw this a week ago. It's somebody's bike now. Yeah, it's somebody's bike. Today is December 9th. I saw this last Friday um, <laughs> right after my boy Wyatt put it together. And I knew it wasn't going to last long. I show up here today. It's been purchased, and they're getting it ready for the owner. What's the availability on these if someone wants one? It depends on the size and the frame that you want. Okay. Uh, we got this one, so, you know, they're they're trickling in. Right. They're trickling. This one was on uh, back order. Is this a 56 so or a 54? This is a 54. 54, okay. Right. So it's For all all you very dependent the house. these days on what color you want and what size you need. Okay. Okay. Well. For what's coming. I in. can tell you guys that next year, and it won't be in the beginning of the year, probably be towards beginning of summer, um, when I drop the coin on one of these, I'm, I'm going all out. It's going to have the access shifting. It's going to have the carbon cool. rims. And yeah, I think I'm going to go the one with the Bosch motor on there too, if we can get one in a reasonable amount of time. This so. is going to be my move as well. My um, next bike, um, I'm getting to Monty two wheel sets. I'm going to have a road wheel set. Oh, okay. I'm going to we'll have, have one a for gravel, gravel wheel set. Wheel set. Okay. I'm going to get rid of three bikes that I have at home nice. and just have one of these that does everything. Does everything. Yeah. This is going to be the way I go. And this is kind of what I've been trying to tell a lot of customers too. This bike does a lot of stuff, right. cool stuff. I mean, it's not the ultimate gravel bike. It's not the ultimate road bike, but man, yeah. it'll be fantastic if you're looking for, something for, for having a great time on. In having the ability maybe to you know spend several hundred dollars on another wheel set that you could swap out for different applications mm -hmm. is a lot less money than spending 3,500 two, three times to have, you know, yeah. unless you're like me and you're jackass and you just have like a bunch of <laughs> you bikes. certainly could go that, that way That one well. specifically <laughs> for <laughs> this, you know, but yep. yeah, well, my kids are gone. I mean, you don't have any kids, dude. You should you know, you spend the money on what more, you want. I should to, have more so. bikes. You should. <laughs> more, more bikes and less animals. Do you even have a pet, Brandon? Do you no, have a dog or anything? No, no. Dude, see, I make my that? life as simple as possible. Man, God. God, we should all be so lucky. And I'm joking for you that have already messed up and had kids. It's okay. One day they'll do chores and hopefully not hate you. Uh, so on that note, okay. So we've dragged down a little bit on this showcase. We try to keep them shorter, but there's a lot to talk about on this one. Yeah. This, is, this is truly a, a great bike, an all-around bike. It's kind of like the, uh, the fuel. In the mountain bike series does everything yeah <laughs> jack of all trades not quite the master of any but still very proficient on everything that it does so and this is why this is ultimately i was looking at the checkpoints i was really smitten with the checkpoints but ultimately i am going to go with the dumani as far as my road bike slash gravel bike as Me too. far as that goes so Me too. i think it's going to be great really excited about that and again i get to consolidate three bikes into one oh, and yeah. then <laughs> no no, no <laughs> i totally get it so all right guys well on that note um God, we'd like to thank the thank you for making it this far. Don't forget to hit that like button, the subscribe button, the bell notification icon button. This way you're helping out the channel and you'll be kept informed of all our new videos as they become available. I also like to thank Brandon once again and Trek Bicycle Store of West Phoenix where the cool kids hang out and me for hosting us every week for a fucking year, Brandon. <laughs> Can you believe that? It's just about been, and that's not even counting the pre-production ones we did last year. That were just to garbage. smooth it out, that yeah. We just threw away. But hey, at least it was the work paid off, though. The work did pay off. Um, right. So we really want to give a big thanks to Trek Bicycle Store of West Phoenix. There's going to be a link down below for those guys. If you have any questions on any of the bikes that you see on Toolbox Topic or Bicycle Showcase, you know where to go. We're also going to have a link to Copper State Bike and Hike in Estrella which is your basically our, our a demo, demo store. Yep. So if you're looking to rent a bike for a weekend, if you're interested in a model, call ahead. They don't have, you know, a bike for every, you know, we have these check, but we, we have they, these. they do have these. Um, rent the bike for the weekend. They also have carrier racks too. So if you need a rack for your car, you can rent one of those too and give it a whirl. Those guys will take care of you down there. So I have to be um, now tell everybody that some of the links below might be affiliate links. And if you follow any of those affiliate links for anything that we've discussed today, we might receive a small commission. And then again, we might not because not all of them are affiliate links. It's just one of those things. You just never know. So um, guys, it's been a whirlwind of a year. Our uh, end of year episode is going to be coming up here in a couple, two, three weeks. So make sure you stay tuned for that. It's going to be a whole lot of fun because that one, Brandon, Wyatt, and I are going to be talking about uh, 2021 year in review as oh. far as biking, mountain biking, the tech, the improvements, the disappointments, just yeah. everything and, and going into 2022, what can we expect? So, all right, guys, on that note, what do we say? 
Be kind to yourself and others. Always be amazing stewards out on that trail. And we have to ask, what are you waiting for? Get out of Arizona. Nice. We'll see you <laughs> on that next adventure. Brandon, thank you so much. Come in. Take care, guys. We'll see you next week. Bye.